Hello, my lovely friends. It is Tuesday, and I'm actually back with another video for you. And this is using the new technique I've been doing with Adobe Illustrator and Ali Edward files. So this is for the empty box series. I did pull from that box a lot of what I'm showing you here, just bits and bobs that were left over at the Rough and tumble though, I pulled that from my stash because I knew that there were boats on it and I wanted to use some of that product because it would go perfectly with the, uh, the pictures. And so the pictures are of Bab and his parents and they're on his parents' new boat and also some of the freighters that carry product through the channel in Lake St. Clair and out into the ocean. I, I think they go from the Detroit River through Lake St. Clair and I, I'm not ex I'm not exactly sure how that works. I just know that um, we saw several freighters. Let's put it that way. Maybe I should look up my geography. So I really have been enjoying using this new technique where I can do a gradient color and match that to the photos or the background colors that I like. And I love that it has a huge title ready to go for me by using one of those cut files. So I've got several layouts recently that I did like this. Well, it's been a while. It's been probably a month or two ago because um, if you follow me, you know, I've been a little bit absent and have slowed down on my video editing just because I have a new grandchild and my daughter is here. So it has been a little bit of a whirlwind and my life seems to be on fast forward, especially with family and then also work and life in general. So, um, just backing these pictures with some Project Life cards that were in the empty box from various sources. I think some of them were from an old Studio Calico kit that I got many, many years ago. So I went through some of that. I do have a lot of Project Life cards and I really need to utilize them. Um, I don't do Project Life. I tried it. I can't keep up with it. <laughs> and I've done maybe one or two albums, I think two albums that are Project Life. And one was for a Disney vacation in 2008 when it first kind of came on the scene. And then the other one was just because I was trying to give it a good go and it just wasn't for me. So. I have all of these Project Life cards that I use to back my photos now and will use for title, or not title, but journaling on the back of the layout. So I do use them for that. So they come in very handy, um, but I don't really use them for their intended purpose. So here I am using some of the stickers from the collection that is Pebbles at the Lake and that is where the Rise and Shine sticker comes from and also some of that chipboard I mentioned from the Rough and Tumble collection by Cartabella and that is that's been in my stash forever and tucking just a little bit of thread behind that cluster for some more texture and I'm really enjoying the white thread on the white back background lately it's been appealing to me so um, also taking some thread behind this sticker that says rise and shine and doing a little bit of adjustment just so things look nice and even and I can also add this um, ephemera piece from let's see I think that is from make your mark cartabella and that is in the empty box as well I'm pretty sure everything except for, well, I know for sure everything except the Rough and Tumble collection is from my um, empty box. So using it up, I started this second series that is the summer series, April 1st, 
So I believe um, that's May, June, July, August, September, October. So I have until the end of October, October 31st, I guess, to empty the box. So that is the challenge. I did pretty good last time and added what was left into this box for the second round in this particular series is focused on summer in case you're a first time watcher. Um, so here you can see I'm adding some of that chipboard. These little tugboats and sailboats worked out perfectly for this layout and I just had to use them even though they weren't in the empty box because his parents boat is actually, I mean it's a yacht but it's actually a sailboat yacht which I didn't know you could do that but apparently you can. And then the freighter pitchers. So I thought the little, what appears to me to be a tugboat was very appropriate for this layout. And then it had things like the, um, you know, the other little stars and things that I could cluster with. So um, the branding strips from a um, collection that is by Die Cuts with a View is where I got some of the labels. I just trimmed off some of those branding strips. And so it says adventure and we go good together. And I'm just adding a little bit of Shimmers product in no yoking and don't citron me to finish up the layout. And I think that is it. Pretty simple, um, pretty clean, not a lot of mixed media or anything like that like I sometimes do but I've kind of been enjoying this technique with the title work and I'm terrible at titles so I've found a way to get around that and actually create a title <laughs> so I'm proud of myself but I appreciate you watching if you get a chance to give me a thumbs up I would appreciate it that way other people can find me if you'd like to find me on other social media you can stay till the end of this video i'm going to have some still pictures for you and close-ups but also information on how to find cheeky studio how to join the facebook group how to find me on instagram and all that good stuff so i enjoy sharing and i hope i have given you some sort of inspiration to create some art for you and for your family Memory keeping is super important to me. I have a terrible memory, and so I will look back on my layouts for years to come and be excited every single time, <laughs> and my kids love it, and it's just something that I've enjoyed for, gosh, 20 years now, so uh, 21 years, actually, so um yeah, I guess that is it for now. I will talk to you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye.